For a man to find true freedom, he must free himself from the grip of his fears. Now that is a quote from my next guest this morning, local author Kevin May. He has recently released the book Living Proof, which is a novel of Key West. Now the reviews for this book are out, and all of them say that once you pick up your copy, you won't be able to put the book down. Kevin, thank you for being here. Well, with thanks me for today. having me. <laughs> all right, Kevin. First of all, I have to ask how you ended up in Key West. Um, I think most people fall into one of two categories, mm -hmm. people that are running away from something and those of us who are running to something. And I happen to be one of the running to. Running to, okay. Yes. I, uh, I was living overseas and working overseas and uh, just got to a point where I was fed up with business and constantly traveling and and just all the game that went along with that. Mm -hmm. um, so I decided I had to find some place to go and, and follow my dream, which is writing, mm -hmm. and uh, ended up in Key West. I started coming here back, actually I drove down here for the first time when it was the old bridge, so that had to have been early 80s, I guess, mm -hmm. and uh, have always loved Key West. So finally when the chance came, I packed up and here I am. Okay, so you were running to being able to follow your dream. Exactly, okay. yes. And now right when you moved here in Key West, did you start writing? Well, I, I finished my first novel in, uh, in 2008, and that's when I packed up and moved here. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, I, I started writing, um, started one story and kind of let it go. Key West is uh, a great place to find characters, but a difficult place to write sometimes because there's so much going on in town. Mm -hmm. um, so it, it, it took me about three years, though, to, to complete the novel. Yeah, I always like asking writers, Kevin, you know, how they stay disciplined, especially down here, because there are so many possible distractions. So how do you personally stay disciplined as a writer? Uh, well, it is tough, and I, I really have to go into hibernation mode. Um, and it, it, it's kind of a, uh, sometimes you just can't. You know, it's the writer's block thing, mm -hmm. and I, I do believe that's an actual <laughs> a psychological problem, probably. Mm -hmm. But... Um, I really go into hibernation. My friends know that I'm going to disappear, you know, for a couple months at a time and, mm -hmm. and really focus on it. Okay. Yeah. Now, Living Proof, this was your most recent novel. Kevin, tell me a little bit about the inspiration behind this book. Okay. Well, Living Proof is a novel about Key West, but it's a, uh, a CIA agent mm -hmm. who uh, comes to Key West to hide out and uh, quickly finds out nobody can hide in Key West. Uh, it's too small. So. Mm -hmm. uh, where it came from, back uh, many years ago, one of my career opportunities was to work with the chief psychologist for the CIA. Mm -hmm. um, and I was not CIA, and if I did say that, you wouldn't believe me anyway. So, <laughs> but, um, but had training from him in profiling and psychological assessment. So those experiences really kind of uh, are brought up again in this novel and, and have led the story. Okay, so it is kind of based then on some true facts. Oh yeah, there's always some truth in there. Okay, yeah. do you have a favorite character in the book? Well, the, the main character, Jake Lander, I obviously like him very much. But um, two of the supporting characters really have, have for me, become uh, the most intriguing. One is Kelly, he's a homeless man uh, that befriends the main character. Mm -hmm. And the other is Rosalind Chapman, and she is a uh, Key West detective, mm -hmm. and a very strong woman, that, that uh, level-headed and uh, solid individual all the way around, and just likable, because she's a little spunky, too. Okay. Now, Kevin, I've been reading some of the reviews for the book, and you have great reviews. And a lot of people did say that once they picked up a copy of the book, they couldn't put it down. Were you happy with the reviews? Oh, I, yeah, I mean, five stars on Amazon so far, so that's mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. um, and just feedback from, you know, friends that have, uh, have, have told me, you know, so-and-so read your book and loved it. And, um, but by far, uh, I think the most intriguing review I got discussed how the evolution of the characters took place throughout the book. And you really see everybody evolving, uh, kind of finding their, their dream or their own way or their self-identity that they've hidden from themselves. So mm -hmm. it's, a, it's, a, it's a fun read, but it also has a lot of uh, personality and depth to it. 
Yeah, it's a good book. I've started reading some of it. I have I have to get all the way through, but I also can't put it down though, Kevin, okay. because <laughs> it is good. It catches your attention. Well, right it's from very fast-paced. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's that's one of the things that I write to make it a constant motion because, mm -hmm. uh, for myself, I'm. Uh, I, Reading is difficult for me, mm -hmm. so I need something that's really, you know, mm -hmm. got mm -hmm. me captured. So that's the way I also write, is mm -hmm. try to capture and keep it moving. Well, you do a good job at that. What's next for you, Kevin? Um, a follow-up to Living Proof, definitely. I, uh, I've gotten to know these characters pretty well, and I, I want to keep them around. So i um, not sure the title yet. I've got a few ideas in my head, but I don't want to give anything away yet. All right. Well, yeah. I, look, I look forward to reading it when it is released. And pick up your copy right now of Living Proof. Get it before summertime, right? Because yes, it it's a great beach read. Yeah, a yeah. great beach read. And for more information on Kevin, just check out the website that you see on the bottom of the screen. That's going to do it for me today. Thank you for tuning in. I hope that you'll be able to join me back here tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. and back at 8.30 a.m. Take care, everyone. It'll be okay